Hi everybody and welcome back to To Be Like Christ. In today's video, a type of Christ in an unexpected place. The Bible, and especially the Old Testament, are full of types or shadows of Jesus. But I want to talk about one in the New Testament today, and one you may not have thought of before. In Matthew chapter 16, verses 21 through 28, Jesus has a very interesting encounter from a woman from the region of Tyre and Sidon. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coasts of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered her and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, Great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Now, if you've ever read this story before, your first reaction may be, yikes, Jesus is kind of harsh to this woman. Why would he treat her that way? And I think the reason is, is because Jesus wants to give us, the readers and his apostles standing there, a great and powerful picture of who he was going to be for them. You may say, I don't see that at all. But what I want to do is I want to look at five ways that this Canaanite woman is just like Jesus. The first way is that this woman was born into low status. If you know any of the history of Palestine, you'll know that the Jews and the Canaanites didn't really get along. And so there was some, some racial prejudice here, and this woman was born a Canaanite and would have been looked down on by the Jews. But if you remember the story of Jesus, you'll know that he wasn't any stranger to that kind of lifestyle. He was born into a low estate too. In Matthew chapter 13, Jesus actually goes back to his hometown and the people there, when he started teaching, they were astonished and said in verse 54, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brethren James and Joseph and Simeon and Judas? They knew Jesus. This was just a hometown kid. He wasn't anything special. He didn't have any kind of special education. They looked at him and they said, what does he know? In John chapter 7 and verse 15, the people are amazed that Jesus knows what's called letters or how to read and write, how to speak properly and formally, and they're blown away because they know he's not an educated person. So just like Jesus, this Canaanite woman had lived a life of low esteem. But here's the second thing, and that is that she didn't come for herself. She came on the behalf of somebody else. Here this woman comes along to meet Jesus. She knows she's not anything special, but she doesn't come for herself to get something for herself. She actually comes for the benefit of her daughter. And that's precisely what Jesus has done for us. Jesus didn't come to the earth for his own benefit or to get something for himself. He came so that we could benefit from what he was going to do for us. The third way is that she was willing to make herself uncomfortable to accomplish her mission. She probably figured that she'd be looked down on or she might have to take some ridicule. And lo and behold, when she got there, Jesus' apostles were like, Ah, oh, Jesus, send her away. We don't want to deal with her. But she was willing to make herself uncomfortable and uneasy in order to do something for somebody else. And if there was ever a picture of Jesus anywhere in the Bible, that would be it. Philippians chapter two talks about how Jesus came down from heaven, where no doubt he was probably pretty comfortable, and he was willing to make himself uncomfortable and have to suffer to do something for somebody else. The fourth way this woman was just like Jesus, fourth. The fourth way this woman was just like Jesus is that when she could have taken offense, she humbled herself even more to accomplish her mission. She had probably heard all about Jesus, that he was kind, that he was powerful, that he was benevolent. He was willing to help all these sick people who came to him. And so she comes, she's like, Jesus, I have this demon-possessed daughter. Can you help me? And Jesus doesn't even answer. Have you ever been ignored by somebody like that? That's like super disrespectful when you know that they heard you and they just blow you off. Now, it'd be really easy in that situation for this woman to say, well, forget you, Jesus. Oh, everything I've heard about you is a lie. I'm leaving. I didn't need your help in the first place. But instead, this woman comes and she worships Jesus and she says, Lord, 
help me. But that's not the only time that she humbles herself. She humbles herself a second time. When Jesus finally responds, what comes out of his mouth is almost unbelievable. He says to the woman, it's not right for me to give the food of the children to the dogs. Paraphrasing here, Jesus says to her, you're not a Jew, you're a Canaanite, and I'm here to bless the Jews, and it wouldn't be right for me to give the blessings that are supposed to go to the children and to give them to the dogs. And at this point, if I hadn't gone when Jesus ignored me, I'd be gone when Jesus opened his mouth and said that. And yet, this woman stays and she replies to Jesus. And she says, yes, Lord, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. She's essentially saying, yes, Lord, I know, but can I have the scraps? Jesus then responds with joy because this woman has proven to him to be exactly what he wanted her to be. And he says to this woman, who's not a Jew, remember, woman, great is your faith. What you've asked for, I'm going to do for you. Jesus was going to ask all of his disciples from the time the church was established until the end of the world to be like him. And he had just seen in the land of Tyre and Sidon, an unexpected place, a perfect example of what he wanted people to be. Jesus had every reason in the world to be offended. He had every reason in the world to walk away when these puny human beings that he had created rejected him, but he didn't. He humbled himself again and again and again, and now he saw himself in this woman, and he blesses her, I think, because he saw himself in her. If you want a great example of what it means to be like Christ and what this channel is all about, take a look at this Canaanite woman from Tyre and Sidon, and hopefully you can see what Jesus saw in her as an excellent example of a Christ-like spirit. I said that there were five reasons. There were only four. I don't know where I got that number. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all those who have subscribed and liked the videos and all the kind words that I've gotten from the people who are watching the videos. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Mark that little notifications box. That way it notifies you every time a new video comes up. Like the videos. Comment if you have any comments. If you think my lessons can be improved on, comment how if you want to. Uh, tell your friends. Share the videos. Thanks.